Hey everybody, I'm Ultra Magneto, and welcome to Valkyria Chronicles, a game by Sega. Um, I don't know much about it other than that it kind of looks like a game that, or it kind of looks like it's a strategy game. A uh, new game. Ah, uh, see, for I've seen like a little bit of gameplay on YouTube, it's like a uh, over-the-top strategy game, and then it's like a third-person shooter-ish type deal. The year was 1935 EC. Two powers controlled the continent. The Arsenal Town is cool. Let's take a listen. In the east, the sun rose over the autocratic East European Imperial Alliance, otherwise known as the Empire. Star Wars? <laughs> Just In the kidding. west, a network of loosely allied democracies formed the Atlantic Federation. Both powers depended on a precious mineral, Ragnite, for their survival. And its growing scarcity led to the inevitable war. Oh no. Hostilities began in the east when the Empire aggressively crossed their western border. Ooh. The Atlantic Federation responded, and the Second European War was on. Oh boy. What? Those are big ass lances! The Empire. With its vast military superiority, struck hard, gaining ground in early victories and putting the Federation Wait, what? defensive. They are just lances the rocket launchers too? By their progress and momentum, the Empire set their sights beyond the borders of the Federation. In neighboring Gallia, a peaceful principality along the sea, they found their next victim. Uh oh. Gallia had long maintained its neutrality in the tensions between the two superpowers. But the rich stores of Ragnite under the Gallian soil proved too tempting for the Empire. Oh no. They amassed troops along the eastern border and invaded with all the force of an avalanche. God damn. No! Defend yourselves! Am I gonna am I gonna go I've been too many minute now? Gallia to arms. Okay, cool. A new episode has been added. Uh, so, if I do that, that's probably gonna play the sequence again, isn't it? Play all that again. Yep. Skip it. Okay, so, uh, Gallia, two arms! Alright, let's see what this is all about. I'm kind of excited. Woohoo! Hey, it's Fulminal Alchemist! March, 1935. Outside the Gallian border town of Brule. Brule. Oh, look at that cute little car. Oh boy. Oh, those look like nice people. Look at that older woman. She Rose looks so happy. Leaving the town before the invasion, headed inland towards the capital. It looks so peaceful. No, don't destroy it. Mike. <laughs> I haven't been down this road in years. I don't know that guy's name. Very much. Must not go back. No, nice to go back in nostalgia, doesn't? Isn't it? Whoa! Already? He's excited about fish. Hey there, guys. You're beautiful. Starting early this year. You're heading upstream, huh? How's the water? This guy's awesome. What? He's an artist too? Scientist? Hmm. Freeze. Put your hands in the air. Slowly. Well then, hello, Miss Bandana Hair. Haven't seen you around before. What's your name? Um. Uh... Welkin, My name's huh? Welkin, and you are the one with the gun. We're with the Brule Town Watch. Ooh, nice. I'm Alicia, Alicia Melchior. The one with the gun. I like that so, response. I'm wondering what you've been writing in that little book you've got there. Imperial spies are in the area. <laughs> this book is nothing, really. I was just sketching the fish, and uh, you know. <laughs> yes. Oh, I know. And you know there's a war on, don't you? All no. right then, Mr. Artist. We'll talk about fish sketching down at the station. 
Take him away. Thanks, fish. What? What? Are you blaming the fish for you getting caught? <laughs> Yay, new episode's been added. So what's F about? Mm, let's save. What? Okay, so that's how fat, that's how it's gonna be, huh? Okay. Select a choose a tab within the book mode to view its contents. Okay. Um Interesting. I wonder if there's gonna be side stuff as well. I'm kind of curious. Come on. Flowers, bugs, and fish. You're not bad with a pen, are you? I have no. to say, they're really very good. Thank you. So you see, I really was just sketching. Maybe. Or this could be some kind of secret code. Are you in denial, I'm lady? My time finding out for sure. <sighs> Great. Welks, is that you? Isara. Oh, your timing is perfect. What have you gotten yourself into now, Welkin? Wait. Don't you live at the old general's house? That's right. I'm General Gunther's daughter, Isara. You do know everyone's supposed to evacuate, right? Yes, I'm aware of that. My brother's here to help me move to the capital, but that may be difficult. I mean, unless you're willing to let him go, that is. <laughs> <laughs> owned. Military lady got owned. <laughs> I apologize, but I was just doing my job, you know. I saw you with the notebook and thought you were a spy. Again, I'm really sorry about that. Thanks. Don't worry about it. I can see how I might have looked a little suspicious. Wilkes has a real passion for observing nature. That's why he's studying it at the university, right? Guilty as charged. I get so into it sometimes I forget where I am or that somebody might be watching me. <laughs> uh -huh. Gunfire! Everyone keep your heads down! Oh boy. Is he dead or is he just injured? Welkin, you can handle a gun, right? Yeah. I mean, I made it through training anyway. Well, they're probably just a small scouting team. We should be able to take them out. I'm yes. All right, let's do this. All right, what do I do? How do I play? Oh, now you tell me about saving the game when I figured it out on myself. Thank you very much, Valkyria Chronicles. That was information I needed to know at the very start of the game. But thank you anyway for your for you telling me. At least you didn't leave me out, just leave me hanging, you know. All right. Encounter at Brule. Encounter at Brule. God, Brule. What a weird name. Okay, here's the plan. Hi, Miss. That's our map, huh? We've got to eliminate the Imperial Scouts that are approaching Brule. We'll deploy from here to take out all three of them. The student where's here? Oh, I'm guessing uh, way down at the bottom. Just cross the bridge and take them down as fast as you can. It seems simple enough. Our objective is to eliminate all enemies. Let's take care of them one at a time. Nice and easy. All enemies are defeated. Failure. Balkan dies, Alicia dies, or 20 turns pass. Okay. Let's get started. Just stay calm and get it done. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, it kind of reminds me of, like, Vandal Hearts a little bit. Uh, oh, yeah, that's another uh, turn-based uh, strategy game as well. I see three of them. That's three too many. Stay sharp. Yes, ma'am. Listen a second. There's something I should explain. What is it? What are you going to tell me? Command points? When combat starts, you'll see a map of the area and your unit's positions. This is referred to as command mode. 
Here, you'll select a unit you'd like to move based on their position respective to the enemy, then press space. Russo uses one of the command points, CP, displayed at the top of the screen. They reflect your ability as a commander, and represent the number of times you can give instructions to your, i.e., troll, your units per each player phase. In this battle, you have three CP, so you can issue instructions to units up to three times. Let's try moving a unit now. Okay, so it's next tutorial. And one town watchman, okay. Okay, okay, cool. Action points. USCP to select a unit in command mode and you'll be able to punch it to action mode. So this must be action mode then. Here you can freely move the unit until you've selected a... Or you, you've... Okay. As you move around in action mode, the action points gauge at the bottom of the screen will gradually deplete. Interesting. Oops. Keep an eye on... Uh, get back to Keeping an eye on the units remaining AP while their emotion is critical to keeping them safe. I get it. Use a W A for now. Use the W A S D to move you know, the sandbags. Okay. Okay. Use the mouse to look around, which is kind of cool. About attacking. Press E button to enter target mode. There, the unit will prepare to attack with a currently selected weapon. Use the WASD to move the crosshairs onto the enemy, or the Q and E buttons to snap between targets. Enemies will not attack while you're in target mode, so take your time to aim well before pressing space to fire. Your shots will land somewhere within the circle surrounding the crosshairs, so it's best to center on the entire target. Shots will, to the head or other weak points will result in greater damage. A unit can only attack from target mode up to once per action, so choose wisely before you open fire. If the target survives your attack, they may launch a counterattack. A damaged unit may not have the HP, hit points to survive the enemy's encounter, so be careful when planning your attack. Haha! <laughs> Headshot, bitch! Ending actions. A unit with zero remaining AP has already performed an attack in target mode is unable to attack, act further. Press escape to end the current action. This will return you to command mode where you'll be able to select the next unit you wish to direct. Press escape and end the unit's action if they have not... Actually, you can press escape and end the unit's action even if they have not attacked and still have AP. Cool. There. End the current action? Yes. This is some, let's take a little bit of time to get Did you just automatically reload? Here we go. Ooh, I can just click too. That works. So where's the next enemy unit? I wonder, can I... What? What? Alright, here we go. Taking care, flame. Take this. Damn. Run right away! Run right away! Haha. <laughs> yeah, I like this game already. All right, so that just leaves Miss right Alicia now. This ain't too bad. Millions of clicks to the scout. I gotta say that the, uh... The action AP gauge slowly decreases. Damn. Huh. I I wonder if I'll get taught about grenades later on. 
When your CP reaches zero, the player end phase ends and the enemy phase begins. One player enemy phase pair constitutes a single turn. The, fur the fewer turns you complete in a mission, the more cash and experience you receive at the end. But being too hasty can lead to unnecessary risks. The key is to find uh, the key. The key is to find a challenging balance. Okay then, I say so. In the current phase, yes. Hmm. The enemy phase. All right, let's see what you guys got. Welcome, no. That guy takes a sweet time. Wow. Ah. Okay then. The end of their phase? Well, in use well, even a limited pool of CP can take out a significant number of foes. Okay. CP can use it on the same units multiple times. Oh! Okay. For instance, a pool of 3 CP can be used to move one unit three times in a row. Prefer for, for cutting the enemy lines or hurrying past dangerous terrain. Okay. That said, people get tired. They'll start each consecutive action with fewer AP than the last, so keep that in mind. If you use cancel button to end your phase with CP still ready, those are people who will carry over to the next turn. Ooh! CP are a precious resource. How you choose to manage them will decide your fate. Really? Here we go. I did not know that. But for now, I just want to. Uh... Enemy sighted. Now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. All right. I guess we'll just uh get back into position here. Come on, Wilkin. What are you doing, Wilkin? Wilkin, excuse me. Let's just end end everything here. See what the other enemy does. And current phase, yes, please. I need to figure out how to, uh, how to, uh, do what that other guy was doing, you know? Oh, and he's moving again? No. Oh my god, yes. Ready to go. Alright, well, it's up to you. Kick their ass, man! Oh, now we can learn about cover? Okay. When standing near sandbags, the command crouch will appear. Press space to take cover behind them. I was doing that already! While hiding behind cover, units are harder to target, take less damage, and are immune to headshots and critical damage. Ooh, nice! Meanwhile, units caught out in the open by enemy attacks are easier to hit and could take significantly more damage. Advance carefully, moving from cover to cover, always, and always try to end your actions safely and hidden from harm. Do this also keep your troops alive long enough to secure victory for Galia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I get behind you? <laughs> Point blank headshots. I love it. <laughs> Operation complete. Yeah, victory is mine. I won the battle. The battle is mine. I I like that. I like that. I don't see any more of them. Of course not. They've all become one with the earth. What does it say? DCL. 
DCT. Yay! I burned and I got stuff. Alright, let's see what this is. Tick Arts! Uh, Hilltop Promise. Okay, now what? There's no other sign of the enemy. Good. Now, go keep watch and stay alert. Yes, ma'am. Uh, what should we do with the bodies, ma'am? Devour them, Bradley. So it's begun. I'll do whatever it takes to protect the people of this town. Yeah, we got a, a local guardian, I'll guys. Even going to war, I'll do it. What's that? What are those little dots? What are those? Seeds from the lion's paw. What? It blooms oh. white. Small, simple, and strong. Interesting. I want to be able to remember, once the war is over, that it wasn't all just people killing people. That even in war, there was also new life. On the 15th day of the third month of the year 1935, the Empire began its assault in earnest. A formal declaration of war was made upon Gallia. Though it was only a small front in a massive continental assault, what followed would prove that a tiny nation could best a military giant. These events would tell a story of tragedy hidden in the mists of time. A story of courage and of trust, of persecution and hate, and of love blooming even through the flames of war. Oh, Alicia and Vulcan are gonna get it what on! is a record of this conflict. Just kidding. And of those who fought, lived, and died. Chapter 1, In Defense of Bruel. Yay! New episode has been added. Okay, so we can turn the page and scroll through that. Home. Alright, let's see what this... There's a lot of uh, video going on and stuff. Not much gameplay at the moment. Sheesh. But I suppose I should give it a chance to you know, see if this how this game handles it. Nice windmill. Seeing that old mill spinning again really makes it feel like home sweet home. Hmm. <laughs> I hear that. It really is one of the most beautiful things about this town. It looks like they're doing construction on it still. I mean, wow. That one's half destroyed. can't be far behind. I thank you for your help. Goodbye, and take care. <laughs> Yay! Now what? What's a welcome to do? How's the packing coming along, East? East? Uh. Almost done. I only need to take the everyday basics. Of course you do. Well, the Empire's got to be close by. Let's hit the road by sundown. Martha, look! Welks is here! I really hope she doesn't die. I like... I like Asara. 
Oh, bye. Oh, welcome back, Welkies. You're still calling me that? Martha, I'm 22 <laughs> years old. 22, huh? Wow. And more important, Pretty young. you shouldn't be running around. Aren't you due any day now? Oh, a light dog won't hurt the little spud. I should know. I've already had four of them. Slut! <laughs> Just kidding. Hello there. Um, it, is Welkin in? Where'd you come from? Oh, hello, Alicia. What brings you here? I just wanted to apologize. Or before. Um, Aw, yeah, she's got the heart for, for Welks. Welkies! She's got the heart for really? little witty Welkies! These are for me? I work at the bakery. Well, I did until the war started anyway. It's where I live, too. Aww, is isn't that it's cute? Heat it up before you eat it, alright? I baked it myself, so the flavor's guaranteed. Best you ever had. Thanks. Uh, do you want to come in? Arrested and shot at? <laughs> You've had a busy day of it, haven't you, Welkies? She's making light of the situation. I like this lady. <laughs> And what a lovely lady you are for all that adventuring. Good job, Welkies. What? Wait, no, it's not like that. Alicia just saved my skin, that's all. <laughs> He's right, we just met. I'm not his girlfriend, just his hero. <laughs> Although I'm really hoping to be his friend. Oh, well I'm sure you will. Be good to my Welkies here, won't you? Okay, seriously, Martha, enough with the Welkies already. <laughs> That's a lovely portrait. Is that General Gunther? <sighs> yep. It was taken before I was born. That's Dad. That's Dad? You're a lucky guy. War runs in the family. And who's that with him there? My father, Tamer. He was an engineer. The general's tank was his creation. Oh, really? Wait a minute. Cool. Minute. But I thought the general was your dad. My birth parents died when I was a baby. Oh. The general was kind enough to take me in as his own after that. That feels so bad. For yeah. Me. We're not related by blood, but she's definitely my little sister. Sorry. Was that question too personal? Of course! Now you will pay the price with your head! No, I don't mind at all. <laughs> I was blessed with two wonderful fathers. Gay! Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I guess you were, huh? Something tells me that something happened to her parents, Alicia's parents. Oh, is that really the time? I've got to get going. Ah, Why is that really the time? Welks? I have to get I going! I take care of the rest of this on my own. <laughs> All right, I will. I'll be right back. Okay. See you later, Isara. Safe travels. Bye. Call me. Whoa. Okay. Um. The windmill tower. Okay, now what? He's tall. Wow. Hey, look at this military look at truck. This. Brule's really becoming a ghost town. They've been leaving for a while. You Just know what's the small? Everyone is evacuated by now. Okay, I was gonna say. I can't blame them. Tensions are rising with the Empire. We'll survive. The town watch will guard and protect the home front. Everyone will come back someday. They'll yeah. come back when it's safe again, right? Mm-hmm. To a pile of rubble and ruins. So, Welkin, I'm curious. Are you going to join the army like your father? And corpses. Mm. I don't think that's for me. Right. What I'd really like to do is be a teacher. Right, that's why you got a couple headshot kills. Huh. A teacher? Yeah. <sighs> Animals and insects, flowers and plants, they've always been my passion. Monsters, zombies, mutants, aliens, mole people. <laughs> this country as a general, but it's just that I, I want to give back 
in my own way. My own way. You know what I mean? I think yeah. I do. You're your sure own way. <laughs> wow. That's deep in your own way. Hmm. Hmm. Why are you so confused, lady? <sighs> War calls to you, Belkies! A big ass bomb is coming. No, sir, some random person, no. And he's dead. Move it. Come on, let's go. Oh my god, there's a lot of them. Combat initiate and there's the there's the windmill towers. I don't believe it. The mill. You destroyed the windmill. Malkia, the Imperials are attacking. There's a squad of them in town right now. Get all the town watch together now. We've got to fend them off. They must be at Mill Plaza. I'll help. Thanks, Wilkin. Now move out. Stay low. Of course. I had something going on in my head, but I forget what. Alright, battle time! I'll explain the mission. <clears throat> yeah, and I'll have to say it through, and I'll have to speak it, because you won't actually say anything. The enemies evaded the Windmill Plaza and has taken almost the entire area over. We'll deploy from this position. Hide behind standby for cover as you advance toward the plaza. Our goal this time is to eliminate the enemy leader. I'm pretty sure they'll be there in the plaza area. Be careful, there may be units hiding behind buildings out there. Hidden enemies will show up in the command view mode. So be careful as you make your advance. Enemy leader is defeated. Welcome dies. Alicia dies and Quay turns past. Okay, let's begin. It's up to us to defend Brule. Yes, it is. Let's go shoot some people for the good of our country! Yay! Our target is the Imperials in Mill Plaza. Focus on taking down their captain. Breaking the chain of command should at least buy some time for the townspeople to get away. Alright, I got it. Let's all be careful out there. Yes, ma'am. Got a second? Listen close and I'll explain. Yes, what is it, my lady? Damage. Some amount of damage a unit sustained is healed each turn. Really? Okay, cool. If a unit has taken heavy damage, don't push them. Stay back and heal up. Should enemy attacks drive a unit's HP to zero, the condition becomes critical. In this battle, you have no way of helping a unit in critical condition. Try to fight carefully so no one's HP reaches zero. Alright, so let's take a look. One, two, at least two units. Okay. Let's send the time watchman first. Sight lines. When a unit sights an enemy in action mode, a sight line will appear over his or her head. The line connects the unit to the enemy, meaning that the line points in the direction of the enemy's location. It, use it as a guide when attacking or when trying to position your units in a spot where they'll be safe from enemy attacks. By attacking enemies. Pressing QRE while target mode will automatically lock on to the next enemy within fire range. Okay. Crosses will turn red when a unit aiming at it when a unit aiming at an enemy has clear line of sight on their target. Use the guideline that extends from the gun when firing near obstacles to see if they are, are blocking the shot. If the line is inter interrupted, it means the unit's attack will be blocked. When the unit crosshair around the enemy, the attacking unit's weapon specifies or specifications appear at the top of the screen. VSP uh, Versus shows damage against human targets. Uh, versus armor shows 
damage against tanks and armor. The symbol will indicate the effectiveness of it, uh, against different types of targets. The circle will indicate the weapon is effective against that type of target. The triangle indicates the weapon can only give slight damage. X means the weapon is ineffective against that type of target. Area shows the attack damage, or the attack will damage a broad area, and shot shows the number of rounds fired per each attack. To kill is the number of shots that need to connect in order to defeat the target. In this case, of the five rounds fired, two must hit the hit to defeat the enemy's unit. This number only takes shots that hit the center of the crosshairs into account. Misses or hits to other areas of the target are not taken into account to this number. This provides an estimate you can use when selecting a target and can be used to line up headshots in critical attacks. Oh no! What is that? What did I just do? What? I healed myself. Alright, let's get some action going on in here. Shit. <laughs> you suck, dick. Run, man, run! Run, man, run! So how are they firing still and I can't, you know? I want to know about that. Oh, he's behind cover, so yeah. <laughs> there we go. Thank you. All right, let's end this turn. Yes, in the phase. That's just flavor text. I can't see exactly. Five. Okay, so I am doing that apparently. Hmm. So I guess it only happens when I'm in cover. Dang, this town watchman's a badass. <laughs> Fire back, fool! What? Right to the face. Go, town watchman, go! What the hell was that? Ha! Okay, so you went back into hiding. That's fine. See if we can lure out the, uh... Whoa. I didn't know I could go prone. That's pretty cool! So I'm probably going to be, uh... 
There we go. Let's leave you prone and stay in here. And let's just end the phase here. Go on. This town watchman is a freaking badass. I love him. I wish he had an actual name, you know. Holy shit! Alright, now it's time to bring everybody else up. So Walker just has his gun, okay. So that was a barrier there. Alright. Hostile sighted. Alright, welcome, sir. Well that was easy. No, let's end you there. What's he at? 139? Okay, let's uh get Alicia up here. Grenade. Ragnade. Okay. Red as club. Oh, I can only go prone to something like grass. Okay, okay. Interesting. Forward we march to conquer those who defile something or other. Oh my god. Okay, you're good to go. Leave it to the town watchman. Not bad, not bad. Okay, you prick. Have it again? Maybe it's just because it's a tutorial, I don't know. Here we go. Let's move Vulcan up there, you know. Cannot kill the Welkies. I can't help but feel like the game is running slightly slow because of my computer, but then again, who knows? All right. Enemy phase. They have so many turns to move. Ugh. It's disgusting. Yeah! What 
Watchmen! Whoa! What? What the hell just happened? Um... What? What just happened? What's that? Sounds like a tank. It is a tank, and a mighty big one at that. Oh my god, that looks beastly. The military here is something to be as a force to be reckoned with. Ooh, weak point generator. Well then. Oh my god, they're behind us now too? Treads for Ooh, you can destroy the treads and prevent it from moving. Oh shit. Oh my god, and that hit Welkins. He flashes like he's invincible. <laughs> Oh, hell no! Well, there goes the town watchman. What? Oh, there ended the turn, okay. Tank! That's not good. We're not equipped to take out a tank. I hate to say it, but we should probably pull out for now. Get off this road and into the alley to the east. It's too narrow for a tank to follow. And try to stay behind cover while moving. One blast from that turret and it's over. I want to can I save mid mid fight? Uh, menu. System. Yeah, let's save here. Well, uh, okay, so we have to go this way. No, wow, that ragdoll. This time, Watchman has retreated. Well, that works. I wonder if she can throw... Please hit. Damn, they didn't do anything. Uh... Not this way. Oh, 
Oh shit. Okay, let's take a look at the map again. annoying and you need to die. Really? Really? I'm looking over there to try to save her ass. That's a scout! That's a gunner! We go last hit got the kill that's two down maybe welcome yes run welcome run we did it hey we got a kill at least one of our units got KO'd but eh, whatever Phew. looks like we shook him what are you doing from here if they're rolling in the tanks, there's not much the town watch can do. We'll try to buy time so everyone can get away. I'll dig in my heels at the main gate and do what I can to stall them. Okay, I'll head back to my house and grab Isara and Martha, then come back. Be careful out there, Welkin. Of course. I want to fight... Oh. D-rank. So, experience. What's the, uh, experience for? Curious about the experience. All right, so let's save it here. Okay, it's safe. So, whatever turn, we're gonna continue on with uh, Escape from Rule. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I am really enjoying this game so far, so I'm gonna continue on playing it. I'm going to do some, as I'm doing more let's plays of this, you know. Um, for now, I think what I'm going to try to do off camera is see if, see if I can uh, take out the tank or something. Or Probably can't. I'm just going to fool around a little bit. Anyway, thank you very much, everybody, for watching. I hope you enjoy the video. Until next time.